hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'll be filming a video on this look if you're interested in seeing how i do this then keep on watching so the first thing that i do is push back the cuticles to expose the new growth and then after that i come in with my 180 sanding band on a very low speed to remove all the surface shine from all of the nails and that way you prevent lifting i will keep my talking a little bit minimal just so you can enjoy the footage but before I say that, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified every single time I post a new video. So now I'm coming in with the tips and I'm using the easy tips from Glitter Planet which are the extra long stiletto tips and these are perfect for creating coffin shape. Um, and I'm using the creation glue which is owned by KDS. And when I'm applying this I make sure that the sidewalls of the tips fit exactly to the sidewalls of the natural nail. So once I've cut the tips to the desired length, I come in with my 180 hand file and I hold my hand file at an angle. So you want to make sure you do um, the same amount of filing on both sides of the nail. And you want to make sure that you hold it at an angle if you want a coffin shape. And if you want them tapered, just like a tapered square, you want to hold it nice and straight at a 90 degree angle. And then I like to hold my file making it nice and straight at the tip of the nail that way you get the tip nice and straight and you want to make it looking as crisp as you can
So now I'm coming in with my CJP primer and I'm going to apply that on all of the nails. And once that is done, I like to come in with my clear base and I apply that on all of the nails and that just helps me to file back to this layer when the client comes back in for a redesign. And this is really, really effective when your client has glitters on their nails or colored acrylic as the acrylic won't stain and then you can always come back and file back to this layer. Now I'm coming in with birthday suit from CJP and I'm just going to apply that on all of the nails making sure I built a good apex and a good tip.
So now I'm coming in with my hand file and I'm going to reshape all of the nails again. And that is just to get that crisp look because when you apply your acrylic, it kind of takes away from that shape. So it's always best to come back in with your hand file to crispen up the edges, everything. It just looks a lot better, so trust me on this. So now I'm coming in with my fine ceramic drill bit and I'm using a speed 8 going over the surface of all of the nails to make sure it's nice and smooth and then once I'm happy with that I like to put the speed down to like number 4 and go closer to that cuticle area to seal the acrylic and that basically reduces lifting. So for this um, design, I will be using some pigments. So for me to prevent the pigment sticking and going all over the nail, I like to apply a, a non-sticky or a non-tacky top coat on all of the nails and cure for 60 seconds. Thank you. 
I've put a little bit of Daisy, um, which is a white from the gel bottle, on my palette. And I'm just using this small gel brush. And I'm basically just creating this like wiggly line across on all of the nails. And I'm trying to make it a little bit messy and wiggly because we're trying to go for like a smoky look. And then once I am happy with that, I like to dip my brush in acetone and then I just go over that design before curing, by the way. So I just go and this just make that more smoky. I was so scared in case I make it too smoky and the pigments won't stick. But when you do this, you want to make sure you make it as smoky as possible because it does give um, it gives it the best look. With me, it kind of looked like a block, but you know, I've learned from this. So um, the more smoke, so the more you mess around with acetone and then just, you know, play with that design, make it a little bit more smoky, the better effect you will get. So after I have cured the nails for 60 seconds, you get that tacky layer on the white and that's why we've applied the top coat at the back so that the pigments don't stick everywhere. And for the pigments, I'm using Glitter RD pigment, Neon Pigments. I will leave those linked down below. And I'm just rubbing those on all of the nails using, I think this is like um, an eyeshadow blending brush that I have and I'm not that I've not been using so yeah you can use anything really and just apply that wherever you want it come in with your first color you can use two three four colors I just decided to go with these two and just you know try to like keep brushing and blending so that those two colors blend very well and you don't get that harsh line Now I'm coming in with my dusting brush from Magpie and this is really good because the bristles are a little bit like rough, not too rough but rough enough to get rid of any glitters and pigments and I'm just going to try and rub off all the pigments from like the skin and whatever but I just want to make sure that there's nothing on that birthday suit base and then once I'm happy with that I like to apply my final layer of top coat on all of the nails to seal the design and then I will cure in my lamp for 60 seconds and then after I cure in my lamp and they're nice and dry I like to come in with swipe or a um, an alcohol wipe and then just remove all the pigment that is on the cuticles on the sides of the nails and that way you get a like cleaner look. So using an alcohol wipe, I'm basically just going around the cuticle area to get rid of any pigments. And that basically concludes the video for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to add me on Instagram as I do post a lot on there as well. And yeah, you guys, I shall see you in my next video.